My name is Yanni, this is Fisherman's Belly, where my goal is to help you cook your catch over a thousand ways, and we are starting with this yellowtail from the Whistler Buoy. I love fresh yellowtail, and I'm gonna take this yellowtail and I'm gonna pan fry it, and I'm gonna smother it with homemade green chili verde, I'm gonna put it in the oven, I'm gonna put some Monterey Jack cheese on it, and I'm gonna be in Mexican heaven. Alright gang, the first thing we're going to do is start working on our homemade chili verde sauce. And every chili verde sauce always starts with my favorite tomatillos. If you ask me what a tomatillo is, is it a, a fruit, a vegetable, a green tomato? Don't ask me, I don't know. But I do know how to use them. And the first thing we're going to have to do is I'm going to pan roast about four or five tomatillos. We've got some. You'll just see, just watch. Okay, there's some tomatillos. There's four or five, there's five nice healthy ones. I've got four cloves of garlic. I've got one nice serrano pepper. And then I've got a whole onion that I've skinned and quartered. All this goes into a red hot cast iron skillet. And I'm gonna be rotating and turning everything until it gets nice and, and black and soft. And then we'll make our sauce. All right, gang, because my chili verde sauce is gonna go in the oven and it's gonna get cooked, I'm actually gonna add a little bit of chicken stock as a base flavor to my chili verde. And my chicken stock is simple enough. I just have some powdered chicken stock. I've got a cup of water here, and I'm gonna add a half a tablespoon of chicken stock to this water and then I'm going to put the whole thing in the microwave for about a minute. Perfect. Oh wow, that's what I'm talking about. Instant chicken stock for our sauce, perfect. Ho oh, ho, things are looking good. Look at that. That's that dark black color I was talking about. See that's exactly what I'm talking about. All those flavors developing, that's all going to be part of our sauce. Wow, okay. The vegetables are all roasted, the tomatillos, the serrano pepper, wow. The onions, the garlic, it's time to move on, it's time to move on. Okay, in go the tomatillos. Wow. In goes the serrano. The onions. One whole onion. And my four cloves of garlic. I just love pan roasting vegetables, so easy. All right, the juice of a lemon. All right, you guys, I wanna share a little tip with you and I've shared this uh, with you before. Whenever I am making my chili verde sauce, whenever I'm dealing with tomatillos, with these little guys right here, don't forget to always use a little sweet component whenever you're dealing with tomatillos. They've got an inherent bitterness and you've got to offset it with a little bit of sweet. So today, I'm gonna use a teaspoon of honey. So, a teaspoon of honey. Oh yeah, and here's my teaspoon of honey. A nice pinch of salt. Some cracked black pepper. Don't forget, I've got some chicken stock, but I'm gonna start blending this, and I'm gonna add that chicken stock flavoring as I need it. I want to make it into a nice, thick, soupy mixture, okay? So that's, I'm going to leave this chicken stock on standby. Wow, okay. Take a look at this. This is just a little bit on the thick side. So I'm going to start off with just a quarter cup of this chicken stock. Because I can tell, it's it's pretty watery already, although it will evaporate in the oven. Quarter cup. Okay, now it's time for the taste test, a critical part of your cooking all the time. Does it have enough salt? Does it have enough tang? Does it, does it lack the tang? Does it lack the salt? The tang meaning the acid. I don't, I don't taste any bitterness from the tomatillo, which is perfect, and I certainly don't taste any honey. That's perfect, wow. And that charred flavor is coming back, it's perfect. This is, guess what? 
it's time to start frying up that yellowtail filet, so let's get going on that. Yellowtail. And after we fry it, we're going to smother it with a green sauce, put some Monterey Jack cheese on it, and then finish baking it in the oven. That's called pan roasting. I've got my yellowtail here, I've got some flour in a dish here, and I've got about three or four tablespoons of grapeseed oil, because I always fry with grapeseed oil, in my pan heating up. And most important is I've got my oven preheating at 350 degrees. Don't forget to do that. Alright, so the yellowtail's here. First thing we're going to do is season the yellowtail up with some salt, some pepper, Flip it over, a little more salt, a little more pepper. Okay, now we're gonna transfer it into this dish with flour. Here we go. Wow, that's a big hefty piece. By the way, the reason that this technique that I'm using this technique is because look at my yellowtail fillet. Look how fat and thick this yellowtail fillet is. There is no way that you can properly cook this in a frying pan. You can give it color, but if you want to try and finish cooking it in here, in a frying pan, you're going to be jeopardizing overcooking your fish. So what I'm going to do is fry it until it gets color, then I'm going to smother it with the chili verde sauce, and then I'm going to finish it in the oven. Just, just watch. And all I'm going to do here is put on some flour. That's all I really need. Oh wow. Perfect. Okay. And we're just going to cook this until it gets color. Just watch. Oh wow. Look at that. Mm. That's perfect. Time to turn off the fire and check. Now all we're looking for is good color. Look at that, that's perfect. Okay, remember that chili verde we made? Here we go. Perfect. Shredded, sh shredded Monterey Jack. Alright, into the oven for 12 to 15 minutes. Alright gang, it's been exactly 15 minutes. So, the reason that we're pan roasting is because our yellowtail filet was big and fat and there's just no way you can cook it in a frying pan. You have to use this technique, so get a cast iron skillet and try this recipe. You're going to just love it, believe me. Let's get the yellowtail out. Oh ho! Oh my goodness. Oh, ho, ho, look at that. Okay, all we need now is a little bit of fresh cilantro. Oh my God, look at that. All right, gang, so here you have it. Pan roasted yellowtail covered in homemade chili verde and topped off with some Monterey Jack cheese. Oh my goodness. If you guys have any questions about today's recipe, please ask them down below. Don't forget to subscribe, especially for this new year coming up. I've got a ton of recipes that I'm just dying to share with you guys. So, we'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good new year.